Hello everybody, Paradoxio here. Welcome back to a brand new video on my channel. And uh, in today's video, we'll be kickstarting off a brand new series on how to create a Discord bot in Python. So in today's uh, video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be uh, creating our bot through Discord Developer Portal, and then we're going to install the correct packages for our API wrapper that we will be using to make our bot, and then we're just going to code our bot to come online. Uh, we won't be doing anything with commands yet, but we will in the next uh, episode of this series. So without further ado, what we want to do is we want to go to our browser and we want to type in Discord Developer Portal. Click on the first link that you see and then click on developer portal at the top left. <coughs> Excuse me. And then navigate to the top right and then click new application. Also, I will leave the link in the description, so don't worry guys. And then we want to name our bot. So for YouTube purposes, I'm going to name it YT underscore bot. And then we want to agree to the terms and service and then create. After you have created your application, you should see something that looks just like this. Uh, don't worry about any of this yet. First thing we're going to do is we're going to go to OAuth2. Make sure you're in a general tab. Go to this drop down menu, select in app authorization, and then select bot as your scopes, and then administrator for the permissions. Go ahead and save those changes. And you're going to head, out, head down to the URL generator. And inside this scope, so you want to select bot. And then for permissions, you want to select administrator. This is your um, bot invite link. So if you've ever invited a bot to your server, you'd know you have to click on the link. And then it'll take you uh, to like a website to invite the bot. It uh, should look something like this if I copy and paste it it'll it'll tell us it does not have a bot because we haven't created the actual bot yet but uh basically tell you to select a server and you get the gist anyways you want to keep this uh link in a safe place so I just put it in a text file to store it but if you ever lose it you can just go back to the portal and you can just generate it that way uh, here is a template of it. I'll have in the description if you want to manually create the um, link. <clears throat> Excuse me. So after that, we now want to go to bot, and then we're going to click on add bot, and then we're going to make sure public bot is selected if you want your bot to be invited to other servers, and then you want to turn on all three of these intents. Bot permissions here is basically a small permissions calculator. So depending on what you have check mark, you'll get a integer. This is what you could use to manually make your uh, bot URL invitations. So after that, you want to get your token. Now you won't see your token yet until you click reset token. And doing that, you will need to put in a six digit authentication code if you have 2FA enabled or it might uh, send you an SMS code, or it might just um, it might just reset the code without having you do anything. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my six digit authentication code in. I'm gonna black out the screen just so you guys can see it. But anyways, after you do that, <clears throat> you will get your uh, bots token. Now, a thing to know about this token is you do not want anyone but yourself or the team you're working with to know this token. If anyone gets this token, they can hack your bot and basically hijack it. Uh, if that ever happens, you can always just reset your token again, but it is a hassle and it can cause some damage. So it's good to just keep this token a secret and you do want to store it for later. So I'm going to put it in this text file. And after you do all that, we're pretty much done. So we're gonna close out of our browser. Actually, wait a second. We are going to uh, invite our bot to the server that we want to test our bot in. So I'm gonna copy that link we have and I wanna put, paste it into our URL. And I wanna select my server I'm gonna test a bot in and then I'm gonna authorize it. 
<clears throat> and after that, yep, authorized. So if I check my server, it should be in there. Yep, YT bot has appeared. And as you can see, it is currently offline because we haven't uh, coded anything in it yet, which we're gonna get to. So we're gonna minimize Discord, and then we're gonna click the or uh, press and hold down the Windows and R key on our keyboard, and then we're gonna type in CMD and hit Enter or press OK. And then when we get to our terminal, we're gonna type in pip install discord.py or pi. <coughs> Excuse me. Now I've already installed this, so that's why I'm seeing requirement already and or already satisfied. Uh, for you, if you have not installed it yet, it will take like 30 seconds to a minute to install. It doesn't take long at all, it just depends on your internet. So uh, keep that in mind. So I already have it installed, so we're gonna go ahead and actually start coding our bot. So if you already have some um, knowledge with Python, you already know that we just basically installed a package or a API wrapper or module. So now we're gonna create our um, Python file. So we're gonna name it bot.py. You can name it main.py or uh, run.py or whatever you wanna name it. <clears throat> it's just your preference. So after we do that, we're gonna go ahead and type in import Discord. And from discord.ext import commands. So after writing those two lines, um, we pretty much have everything we really need to actually start up our bot. So I know I said we're not doing anything with commands today, however we still need to import commands uh, to actually create our bot, and you'll see what I mean here in just a second. So now we're going to create a variable, and we're going to name it bot or client, uh, whatever you want to name it. Uh, for the sake of the video, and because everybody else does it, I'll just name it client, and then we're going to set that equal to commands.bot. And then for our arguments, I'm going to type in command prefix, and then I'm going to set it equal to uh, an equal sign. Of course, you can put it anything you want. You can put it uh, like that with a letter or a number or if it's a symbol, whatever you want. I'm going to keep it as an equal sign because I think that's pretty simple. Uh, your prefix can be as long as you really need it to be, but it's always good to keep it short, of course, typically one or two characters only. And after that, we're going to type in a comma and then we're going to type in intents. And we're going to set that equal to discord.intents with a capital I. And then dot all. With the open and close parentheses. So after that, we can go ahead and just type client.run. And then we're going to go ahead and in between these two things, we're going to type in at client.event with the at decorator symbol. And then we're going to type in the C, F, on, ready, colon, and indent. And then we're going to type in print, bot is connected to Discord. Make it look a little bit nicer. This is how I usually type it. Anyways, so now we have our on ready event. So once uh, we do that, all we need to do now is uh, paste our token within these, within this run uh, function. So I think I stored it in my text file, yeah. So I have my token here. Again, don't let anybody see it but yourself or your team you're working with. Now, there is a much better way to actually put in your token for the client.run. It's just hiding your token in a separate file and then having it read a file and then putting uh, the variable that reads the file inside this uh, method. I'll show you guys how to do that in a later video. But for now, this works just fine. So we'll go ahead and run it. It'll start logging. Uh oh. Oh, whoops. Misspelled something there. Silly mistake, guys. Anyways, we're gonna go ahead and run it now. And as you can see, it's logging in using our token. 
and it's connecting the gateway. It's giving us our session ID, and it says success bot is connected to Discord. So basically, this here just tells us that our uh, bot has been connected. So if I go ahead and go to Discord, I can see that our bot is online. Now, just to make this video a little bit longer, I will add a small command. <coughs> So I'm going to kill the program and I'm just going to type in client.command. Now unlike the event, you do want to put parentheses after your command. And then we're going to go ahead and press enter and then a C F pong, or uh, not pong, sorry, ping. And we're going to pass in ctx. After you pass in ctx. What you can do is and type in ctx.send. Or no, sorry guys. You want to type in await ctx.send. And then pong. So this is just basically a small example command. We're going to add a few more commands later in the video. But this is uh, basically our... Uh, template for a command. So that's pretty much all we're going to do. So if I run this code again, and then I go ahead and type our equal sign in ping, as you can see, our bot will respond with pong. Now, if we want to send it to ourselves, all we need to do is just type in ctx.author.send. And I believe that's how you have it sent to our DMs. Uh, yep, just like that. And now we are DM'd with Pong by YT Bot. Awesome. So that's just about that. Just about does it for this video. Uh, this is my first video on Discord.py. Uh, basically, all we did was just set up a bot and get it to go online, and we and just for fun, we had a small ping command, even though I said we probably wouldn't. But uh, next video, we will be uh, add, doing more things with commands, and uh, I have something a little fun in mind with a command. So I'll see you guys uh, next time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Um, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. I'll try to help everybody out as much as I can. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.